Yeah. Anyway, yeah. on to the next I topic. I legitimately was uh, trying to predict what the next topic was. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I, I have the power. It's the perfect I, teenage I, game. Valve is the releasing shotgun. the Steam Deck. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> We'll pretend the last hour didn't happen, and we'll just talk about the Steam Deck again. <laughs> uh, okay, next story. Uh, PlayStation head of Worldwide Studios, Herman Hulse, announced that Dutch studio Nix's uh, software has been officially acquired by Sony and welcomed to the greater PlayStation first-party development portfolio. Uh, unlike most household names under Sony's wing, Nexus Studio has primarily served as a support team on countless games over the years, with an emphasis on PC ports such as Square Enix's Marvel's mm -hmm. Avengers. Uh, the commonly held theory and speculation behind the move is that Sony is making an active of, I'm sorry, to, to make an active effort to bolster and strengthen their PC portfolio following on the initially mixed reception of Horizon Zero Dawn's PC de debut and the well received uh, Days Gone ports. Uh, as stated previously on the show, while both ports function fantastically at, the po at this point, the former Horizon Zero Dawn uh, demands far more power than what's displayed on screen, more than likely the result of optimization issues. Um, yeah, uh, Sony could sure, could sure as hell use help on their PC initiative as their direct competitor Microsoft's approach with day one PC ports available on Game Pass has indisputably blown Sony's efforts out of the water. Um, general thoughts on Sony pushing for more PC games? Uh, good. It's good. It's the right choice. Yeah. I, I think it's important they get stuff out specifically day one. Because what Horizon yeah. came out three years after the fact, mm -hmm. I believe the same for for Days Gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah like as much. You go. Ahead. Ahead. Oh, I was just going to say they they Uncharted Four is also going to be coming to PC. That was a previous yeah. story that we had done. It's mm -hmm. just like like it's nice. Like I'm a sucker. I'll I'll probably buy their games. Whatever I'll play them. There's, it's the best way to play it. It's higher frame rates, resolutions, whatever, whatnot. But it's just. So after the fact, it's it's comes off as like double dipping because yeah. it is yeah. literally double dipping. I mean, it's like, I mean, you know, oh, you go on. So slowly phasing out the sort of air of exclusivity. I mean, that's I, I can't say that's not a good thing. Yeah. Um, having more PC ports for games faster so that more people are able to play them or more people are able to play them on their preferred console. That's that's a great thing. Yeah. Um, and anyone who gets upset about it, you're, you know, you're a little baby. Basically, you need to get your like, diapers changed. Like as much as as much as I, we all rightfully made fun of that one idiot who was in charge of Days Gone or whatever. Like, there's a good. I don't know if he said this. I just really wanted to bring that up again. There's a good point to be made. Like, I wonder how much better that game could have done if it had a simultaneous PC release. Mm. Absolutely. Because it's not a terrible game. It's just a perfect. Mm. And I don't know, stuff like that. Uh, Modders would have had a fucking field day with it. I don't mean in a bad way. I mean, sale. like, yeah. I, th I, think, I think just to touch on that specifically is that even though Days Gone did sell, like, fucking crazy. Oh, my camera keeps fucking up. Um, it did sell, like, crazy, but the issues that Sony had with that studio came down to the way that they handled production, as well as, uh, I forget the dude's name who's in charge, but they had issues with him. We could just call him dipshit. That, that also works. <laughs> But no, I, I knew there was something I was forgetting. Like, I, I just, I don't know. So, like, to mirror what Sylvia said, just, I think this is probably ultimately a good thing. I can't think of it. Even if it feels gross right now, like, oh, they just released this after the fact. Like, this is just yeah. going to be something that needs to happen. It's also better they released it at all than not releasing it for those things and then just doing it going forward. Mm -hmm. What's not cool... And I don't know if this is a topic, Jose, that you have, but what's not great, and it's related, is the fact that because Judgment, Last Judgment was getting a PC release, that the talent agency that is in charge of, I forget his name, but he plays the main character in face and in voice, um, they're oh, like, you know no. Uh, we will actually get to that shortly. Okay, I didn't know if that's what we were segueing into or not. Continue, though, with whatever the next topic is. Um... Or, or Atma, Mesa, do you have any more thoughts on just the PC oh, sorry, in yeah. general? Oh. Um, yeah. I, like everyone said, I think it's a good thing. Um, I'm a little scared for Sony, though, I will be honest. Um, they're kind of they're kind of losing their ability to diversify. Absolutely. Um, they're kind of losing their relevancy in this conversation 
I mean, there's. I mean, obviously, they're still relevant, but I mean, like, as they do this more, they're like, what? Like, why? Why? Why would I buy a PlayStation then? You right. know, as time goes on, and this, if as time goes on, this this increases and accelerates, then it's like, uh, then what's this for? I want to say that's maybe even something that they're scared about about maybe doing like day one because they do mm-hmm. want people on their hardware. Um. Even though, like, Microsoft is totally embracing because they they are relying on Game Pass compared to, um, compared to, uh, I don't know where I was going. Well, I can't, I, the, I, I can't at find the end my of the day, That's those. still their, at the end of the day, that's still their platform, you know? Mm-hmm. That's still, dude, like, you're still playing on Windows. Um, you, you haven't left the Microsoft ecosystem. While with, with PlayStation, you know, you, you have to. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that aspect i'm like you know what you know i i i like i like a diverse field for gaming i don't want it to become monolithic because then you know innovation slows um in in, in a creative space like this um you know ideas don't necessarily spread um as well Mm -hmm. um so that that part that part that that's the only part that kind of worries me a little bit um that if there, if it comes one show in town then there's no uh there's no there's no there's no there's no diversity yeah right i i think it's like like ideally if they came out like day and day i think i would part of me wants to say i'd play them on pc but like so much of the appeals also like the dual sense and is there any actual support for dual sense on um on windows in terms of, like getting those other features uh windows no probably steam i mean steam does i'm pretty sure okay oh well 